Hello everyone! Okay, so let's proceed with our topic for today. First is we need to understand what is soil texture all about. Soil texture, which means you can feel and touch. In soil texture, guys, we have some soil texture determination, including the fill method and a rule method. This is the sample picture on how to perform a fill method. A fill method is a way of arriving moist soil between the fingers and estimating the characteristic feel of the dominant soil separate in the soil. The word texture, guys, refers to the sensation when one rubs the material between two fingers. So, automatically guys, pag nirab natin si sandy soils, we feel gritty and rough. And silty soils are more smooth and powdery kasi nga malalaki yung particles ni sandy compare kay silty. While clayy naman is more plastic and sticky when wet kasi nga pinakamaliit si clayy soil. So, remember na lang guys na in soil texture, more bigger is sand, second is silt, and third is clay. This is the sample pictures of a rule method. Sandy soils do not form rods. Medium textured soil such as loam and silt loam form rods but which break easily when the loop is formed. Clay soil such as silty clay and sandy clay and clay form a continuous rod which can be molded into a ring without cracking or breaking. So the more dominant the clay soil, the more hard for breaking and cracking. And this is the soil texture triangle. Try to learn this guys, it will help for you to understand the result of the soil texture after combining any particles. In addition, we have also mechanical analysis in soil texture determination including hydrometer method and pipit method. This is the picture. Try to learn this guy so that you can understand it very well.